F5 DTS is out, which is a fully non auto regressive text to speech system based on flow matching with diffusion transformer and what i mean by diffusion transformer so if you scroll down on their paper side you can see that this is the architecture used at the back end to train and generate text-to-speech outputs and most of the models out there are using diffusion transformer which is right here so this is not a video about diffusion transformer so i'm just gonna go and skip the technical part but i'm gonna dive into the zero shot generation right here which they have displayed on their paper so we have a five second reference audio right here and here's the script which would generate this audio which is a 19 second audio and we can have a cross lingual generation and for now it sadly only supports english and chinese so let's go and take a listen to the reference audio here some call me nature others call me mother nature now let's go and check out the generated audio from this text here so let's go and play that i don't really care what you call me i've been a silent spectator and as you can see, it only took five seconds of reference audio to generate this. Now let's check out the cross-lingual generation here. 顿时, and as you can see, the Chinese is working as well. I just want to go through different examples. Are you familiar with it? Slice the steak and place the strips on top. Then garnish with the dried cranberries, pine nuts, and blue cheese. So as you can see, there is some excitement in the voice. So you can actually add emotions to the voice. Let's go and check out the results now. Perhaps they are driven by the delicious blend of flavors, or it could be the appealing visual presentation. And I am really amazed at how good it actually grasps the emotions from the reference audio and plays that inside this generation. Let's go and check out the Chinese generation here. And if this has the same emotion, this is going to be mind-blowing. <laughs> And there you go, the emotions were there and they were quite identical. I'm really amazed. And that was not all. You can even do speed control and generate audio on different speed. As well as if you scroll down, you can add emotions like calm, angry, disgust, happy, sad, and fearful, and much more. Which is my most favorite part. So it only took two seconds of reference audio for this angry emotion. Kids are talking by the door! And the F5 TDS model generated this output. So I was at the um, grocery store and uh, I saw this like really yummy looking um, cake, you know, and I I uh, totally wanted to like buy it, but um, I was on a diet. So uh, I just like stared it for a while, you know. And I'm totally mind blown by how accurately it copied the emotion and the audio from the reference. And it only was two seconds long. You don't have to upload larger clips. It only takes a couple of seconds to actually train your audio and clone that into anything you want to generate. So this is really mind blowing and I really want to test this out. And let's dive right into it and start testing this new amazing text to speech model. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host Shamrez and we're finally getting to the fun part of testing this new F5 TTS model. So there are a couple of ways of how you can test this out or how you can use it. So we have a hugging face space for F5 TTS right here. I will be pasting in the link in the description. So don't worry about that. And we also have a local install available but this might not be for everyone because you need to have an NVIDIA card and CUDA installed on your machine to actually use this, at least at the time of this recording. So later on, if they remove this restriction, we can always do local install. Everyone can use this locally. But for now, I'm going to go and use the hugging face as the local install might not be for everyone. But if you really want the local install video, hit me up in the comment section and I will be creating a local install video for you guys. But for now, let's dive right into it and test out all the use cases for this amazing f5 tds model so we're here at the f5 tds hugging face space and you can see the tool should look something like this on the gradient interface as well and here we have a couple of features we have the basic tts we have multi-speech and we can even use e2 tts this is a model created by microsoft but i think f5 tts is the improved version of e2 so let's get started with the first test here so i'm just going to go and upload an american voice here so let's go and do that so this is Anna that I generated through 11 labs. And if you play this. You know, there's something magical about the way the sun rises each morning, painting the sky with shades of orange and pink, or how a gentle breeze rustles through the leaves, carrying with it the scent of blooming flowers. You can see that this is a very neutral emotional voice. And here you can paste the text to generate. So I'm just going to go and paste a chat deputy generated text here, just like that. And once you have your text here, what you can do is you can toggle some advanced settings by clicking here and you can add the reference text. 
Now, this reference text is actually the transcript of the audio that you have in the reference audio. But if you don't have it, just leave it empty and you can toggle this remove silences. What this would do is it would remove all the silences from your reference audio or the audio that is being generated. You can even toggle the speed for now. Let's leave it at normal speed and you can even go on and change the crossfade duration. But for now, let's just leave everything as default. I just added the remove silences here and let's close that. And there you go, we started synthesizing and you get the process here, as you can see, and you get your synthesized audio right here, which is 21 seconds long. So let's go and play this out. Have you ever stopped to the sounds of a forest? The chirping of birds, the rustling of animals, the soft trickle of a nearby stream. It's like nature's own symphony. And if we go, we can see that this is exactly as the text states here, as well as if we play the reference audio. You know, there's something magical about the way the sun rises each. You can see that this is exactly the same and you even get a spectrogram, which you can download by clicking here. This is really mind blowing, but I have another test for this tool, which is to actually copy a different accent. What if we want to go with a British accent? So what you need to do is you just need to remove this by clicking here and you can actually leave the text to generate the same. But this time I'm going to change the reference audio here. And this time I uploaded Alice's voice, which is a British woman. So let's go and play that. It's incredible how far we've come, isn't it? From the first computers the size of a room to the sleek devices we carry in our pockets today, technology connects us, inspires us, and empowers us to do things we never thought possible. So we have the British voice. Now let's actually go and synthesize and see whether it can actually copy the British voice and the accent. So there you go. It's actually generating the voice. It took it like 12 to 13 seconds to generate this audio. Let's go and have a listen. With charisant of blooming flowers, you ever stopped it to the sounds of a forest? The chirping of birds, the rustling of animals, or jarring with it the scent of blue, the leaf, the soft trickle of blooming flowers. Stream, it's like nature's own symphony. And let's not forget the vast of the mountains, the calm of the ocean waves, or the way the stars blanket the night sky. It's all a gentle nudge, reminding us to slow down, breathe, and appreciate the little moments. Yes, it did copy the British accent, but it was not perfect. There were some places where the voice was not up to the mark, but I think this is quite good. So let's go and test it out with a male voice right here. So I'm just going to go and delete this. And this time I'm going to go with a male American voice. So this time we have Bill's voice here. Let's go and have a listen. It's not just about looking good. It's about feeling good. Whether you're lifting weights, hitting the yoga mat, or just going for a walk around the block, every little bit counts. Fitness is all about progress, not perfection. There you go. So we have this voice and we want it to generate the same text. So let's go and synthesize. And this is really fast. It only takes a couple of seconds, let's say 20 seconds to 25 seconds to generate the whole audio for you. And there you go. It took it around 11 to 12 seconds. And we have the audio right here. Let's go and play this out. Carrying with the scent of blooming flowers, if we're stopped to the sounds of a forest, the chirping birds, birds, the rustling of animals, the soft trickle of a nearby stream. It's like nature's own symphony. And as you can see, it actually cloned the voice and generated this output out of this text, but it still looks something like AI generated. What if we have emotions in it? For that, we have the multi-speech module right here. So let's go and test that out. So what we need to do is we need to label the emotion here. Then we need to provide the reference audio with that emotion in it. And we can leave the reference text as an option. And if you have that, it would be good to actually provide that. But for now, I'm just going to go and leave that as it is. So for the regular voice, I'm just going to go and use the calm voice that I have. So regular is like the default and it is kind of mandatory. As you can see, it is written right here. So you have to have a first voice right here. And then what you need to do is you need to add a speech type. So I'm going to go with angry and I'm going to paste in an angry reference voice right here. And you can go on and add more speech types. But for me, I think these two are enough. Then you need to have a dialogue here. And notice that how you have to reference to the label that we have here. Like we have regular and angry. So we have to wrap the speech type inside the curly braces. So I have some text right here. Let me paste that here. As you can see, one is for regular and one is for angry. So let's go and generate this out and see how it performs. And again, you can go and toggle the remove silences or you can leave this out. But I would highly suggest that you toggle this out. Let's go and generate the voice. There you go. We have the voice here. So the first part should be really calm and regular saying this piece of text here. And the second part should be really angry and saying this piece of text here. So let's go and play this out. Hey, angry. 
What are you in the mood for dinner tonight? How about pizza? Pizza! Again! You've had pizza three times this week! What are you trying to turn into a slice? So this was very mind blowing how it accurately divided the regular and the angry part of the voice and generated that. This way you can actually have multiple voices and even generate podcasts. So let's go and try different voices. Not the same voice with different emotions, but actually different voices. Like one is for a male and one is for a female. So I'm just going to leave the regular voice right here. Um, here I'm just going to go and say this is Anna. And let's go and remove this voice from here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in Anna's voice right here. And this time all you have to do is just change the label from angry and make it Anna. There you go. So let's go and try to generate this. And if this works, this is really mind blowing how you can generate audio for your podcast. So I'm really hoping that this works and I start using this as my regular tool for generating audios for podcasts. So let's go and test this out. Hey, Angry, what are you in the mood for dinner tonight? How about pizza? Pizza again, you've had pizza three times this week. What are you trying to turn into a slice? And this was a success, a big success, although the emotions weren't matching with the text because we're not checking the emotions here. So I think this is quite good. We are just checking whether we can have multiple people talking in the same generated audio. And this actually worked. Now, there's a use case that I came up with. You can paste in the script for your podcast and you can just generate the audio for it. So this was our podcast test, which was a pass. So far, everything is a pass, but I want to test out its limitations. So let's go back to the basic TTS. And this time I want to check whether I can generate voices in different languages so i have this voice here whether you're lifting weights hitting the yoga mat which is actually bill and i want to generate a chinese voice through this so what i need to do is paste some chinese here there you go and let's go and hit synthesize this should probably work because it actually sports english and chinese so we have the audio here let's play that and this is actually working, but what about if I want something in Spanish? So let's go and remove this and let's add Spanish here. There you go. We have the Spanish text. Let's go and synthesize. I think this would not work, but let's just test the limitations. And we have the audio here. Let's go and test this out. The alguna vet has the tenido escucharlos son dos gas de los pijeros. This is really messy. And I think this is not Spanish at all. I am really sorry to all of the Spanish speakers out there, but this is really not Spanish. So this means that this tool cannot generate voices other than English and Chinese for now. But later on, maybe we will have support for that. So this was all about testing this tool on Hugging Face. And my final thoughts about this tool is that it is really mind-blowing and I think this is one of the revolutionary tools out there because we don't have to paste in minutes and minutes of clips. We just need 15 seconds of clip and it can generate audio through that. As well as we have emotions, we can do podcast recordings through this. And this is completely free on Hugging Face. And we also have the local install available, which I will be covering in the next video. Do let me know and I will be creating that video for you guys. For now, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.